Yo. Hey, uh, real quick, I just wanted to briefly go over a rogue trick, rogue tip that may help you guys out when it comes to uh, defending your node versus a druid. Um, I've noticed that a lot of rogues um, get caught out when a druid in cap or trinket in cap roar. Right? I think it's something like that. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically when a druid comes to your base, right, they they expect the rogue to sap, okay? The druid will trinket and roar, which uh, CCs you for two seconds, and then you get cycloned, and then you have to trinket because you got caught out by that, right? And you trinketing, it, it just causes a, a spiral of um, effects such as like the rogue showing up again and then you have no trinket or you have to double sit which means that you have a person out of fight and i just want to show you guys on how to avoid that man it's super easy man um i've covered it in one of my videos before and we're just going to show jay busy dude was super surprised that he didn't get it but i mean if you guys just do what i'm about to show you i guarantee you that it's it's not difficult at all, right? So as you can see, Druid's at my base. Um, I'm I'm on the enemy team. Druid's at my base for the enemy team. Let's have a listen, man. Uh, I think they're doing a split. No, they're definitely going more waterworks. They're gonna want a ninja though. What? I didn't yeah. get this rogue out. That's unfortunate. Oh man. Right. Yeah, just seen him. He gets sapped. Um, he trinket roars and he's fucking shocked like what the fuck right and so now I'm gonna show you guys on how I did it and I've explained this before but I don't know man maybe maybe we're not listening man maybe we're not just watching subs world guidance you know so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shadow step him right and the speed, I think I use sprint, but it doesn't really matter. You can still use it with shadow step. The speed of shadow step, you can run, and then you want to jump and sap him, right? And the distance that you're covering with the sprint boost of shadow step puts you out of range um, of the in cap from the druid. So we're going to play this over real quick, right? Yeah, he has 700 damage. <clears throat> Druid shows up, looks like I do press sprint, right? I shadow step and I don't sap right away. You see that? I don't sap, I jump, sap, and with if, if I didn't have sprint, right? If I didn't have sprint, my shadow step would have worn off. That's why I jump. So I step, it doesn't, even, it doesn't even show, but it would have just worn off, right? So I shadow step, jump for the increased distance of the area that I'm covering, okay? So by jumping, I'm increasing the distance that I'm traveling at because I jumped with 70% increased speed because of shadow step, right? Okay. Then I max range my sap. Not really. I could have, I could have pressed it like a little bit later. If you if you watch the R on my sap, right? Sap. I could have sapped him a little bit further, right? But by the time he trinkets, he trinkets right here. This is like any in caps right here. This is the distance that I created by shadow stepping and max ranging my sap, right? And that's how you don't get caught out by druids when it comes to defending your base, fam. It's really, really important to take advantage <clears throat> of the 10 yards that you have with sap, okay? Um, but yeah, it's just a small little trick that I, I hope helps with you guys. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helps, man. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.